The first casualty of change at the mega politic de Pukenga, Council Chair Murray Strong has just announced his resignation. It comes as the new Minister for Tertiary Education and Skills asked the Council to essentially propose their own demise. It's an uneasy time being an employee of Mega Polytech Te Pukinga. They've been under three years of really extensive change, three years of massive uh, disruption, and now they're going to be facing more. Three years ago, we had 16 polytechs or institutes of technology and 10 industry training organisations. They combined in some form into Te Pukinga with a new head office. The actual work is still happening in the polytechnics, so they are still doing everything everything that they've always been doing, but they just didn't have any power to make any decisions. That was all sitting with highly paid people in a bloated head office. It's some of those roles the Minister says are superfluous and would like Te Pukinga's council to propose a way forward. Is it a bit sad that you've tasked the people in head office to kind of come up with their own demise? Uh, well, that's I guess a risk you take on when you go into something new like that. OK, so the, is, is that what they're doing? You've tasked them to come up with all the figures and redundancies? I, I have. OK. Mm. What was the response to that? Uh, well, I'm waiting to see. The Minister has given the Council her letter of expectations. It includes confirmation Cabinet has agreed to disestablish the organisation, so Te Pukinga shouldn't be making any immediate decisions to make that harder. She also wants more decision-making at the regional level and wants a report by next Friday on how that can be achieved. The union says the minister, who used to be the CEO of a polytech, should already have a plan. If they are going to tear things down, then they should have a plan of how to build them back up straight away. But Penny Simmons isn't without ideas. She wants eight to ten polytechs and a central entity to oversee the training organisations with some shared services for all. But that and any other proposal will have to be considered confirmed by Cabinet before any legislative change can get underway. Might sound like a mammoth task, but the Minister has a timeline of sorts. The name Te Pukinga will be axed within six months, and then... 1 January 2025 will be the sensible time to start everything afresh. Meaning the actual disestablishment will take longer than 100 days. Thankfully for the government, they only promised to begin the process within that time frame.